I promise you this animation movie is going to blow your mind, just stick to the end. The movie begins with a music band called the Rusty Bucket, performing on stage to their fans. The band includes Otis the guitarist, Reggie, the master of beats, and finally, the lead singer, Thelma. Funny enough all these was just Thelma's imagination. They actually have no fans, and they aren't popular. But they seem so excited why? Because they are preparing for an audition tomorrow which is actually their great opportunity to shine. Thelma, Otis and Reggie are not just a band, but they are best friends who works in a farm. They watch the new trending song of Nikki Narwhal, one of the most popular celebrity in town, and Thelma repeatedly tells Otis that will be them in TV someday. Just one day when Thelma was doing her usual farm work, she accidentally pours shit on herself which leads to the rhinestone fillies mocking her. They are a music band who are also planning to audition on Sparkle Palooza, just like Thelma and her band. They tell her that she looks disgusting, and no one will ever want to listen to the music of a farmer, unlike them who have the looks and the talent. The Sparkle Palooza talent audition finally begins later that night, and the Rhinestone Phillies performance were enjoyed by the crowd and judges, who accepts them into the show. Thelma who watches this becomes so nervous, but Otis assures her that they will also be accepted. When their crew, the Rusty Bucket, are called into the stage, before they even started singing, the judges rejects them ordering they should leave the stage. The judges explain that they just want people with a certain look, someone that sparkles and lights up the stage not some forgettable farm ponies. Thelma tries to defend herself but falls off the stage leading to everyone to laugh at her. Her amazing voice is what should be going viral, but what went viral was her accident on the stage. Otis shows up to cheer Thelma up with his legendary story. He tells her not to worry about what the judge said because they are only just getting started, and they will get more chances but to Thelma, everyone has always told her that she doesn't have the right looks for it and she's now starting to believe them. The next morning, Thelma returns to her normal boring farming routine. She suddenly steps on a carrot, and an idea immediately gets to her mind. She rubs a mud on the carrot and places it on her head just so she can look like what the society wants a singer to be, a unicorn. All of a sudden, a truck with load of paint and glitter passes them by. The driver who hasn't eaten breakfast tries to do so while driving, but this distraction causes a little accident making the paint and glitter from his truck to sprinkle on Thelma's body. Otis is shocked at her new looks and tells Thelma to go look at herself in the mirror. Thelma does so, and she's amazed that she looks exactly like a unicorn. A kid and her parents inside a bus passes by and screams in excitement after seeing a unicorn in the farm. They run to meet Thelma and ask if they can take a picture with her, which she agrees. To her surprise, more and more people keeps coming to the farm just to see her, thinking she's a real unicorn. They wonder what magic she can do and she tells them she can sing. Quickly, she calls Otis and Reggie to go get their instruments, because this is their great opportunity to shine but Otis actually doesn't like her this way as he prefers her just being herself. When Thelma sings, the people enjoyed it so much and it becomes popular instantly that it even got the world most famous producer's attention. But something we notice here is everyone was only interested in Thelma, but no one actually cares about Otis and Reggie. Otis cheers with her, but advises her to take the paint off her body, because she is special the way she originally looks, but Thelma refuses, as her looking like this is when people are starting to finally give them a chance. The scene suddenly takes us to the mansion of the most famous celebrity singer, Nikki Narwhal, and her dance crew who are called the Crew Boys. These boys never stop dancing even in their sleep, and there are rumors that if they ever stop dancing, they will die. Nikki Narwhal manager named Vic, shows up to tell her about the bad reviews she's getting from her most recent song. He tells her that her fame is on life support, and if they don't find some kind of a jolt soon, her career will be dead as a dodo. Nikki Narwhal reminds him that he is the manager, so it's his duty to do the strategizing, which tells us how rude she is. Thelma and Otis are busy playing a game, when they hear a music playing in their backyard. They go to check it out, only to be shocked to see it's Peggy Purvis, the legendary music producer. She showed up with her husband to see Thelma, because the song she sang today is something she has never heard of in her life. Thelma reveals to have written the song since when she was young, but never have she gotten the chance to play it in front of anybody. To Thelma and her band excitement, Peggy Purvis tells them to join her record studio. Peggy Purvis actually stopped producing music after she went blind, but she believes Thelma could be her comeback. Just as Peggy takes Thelma and her band to her studio, they begin to work on a song all night. Peggy later receives a call from Vic, who tells her his reason for calling is to make her and the singing unicorn offer. The offer of being the opening of Nikki Narwhal's show tonight. Peggy doesn't even want to have anything to do with Vic knowing the kind of person he is, but upon realizing that she could be the only one standing in the way of Thelma's success, she decides to tell Thelma about this offer which of course she agrees to, because who wouldn't want to be an opening for one of the most famous celebrity in town? 
Vic shows up with his private jet and pick them up. Here is when things started to go differently for Thelma and her band. Vic puts Thelma in the same limo with him, while her band and Peggy is placed in a different limo. On their way, Vic sends a missile to damage the limo of Thelma's band, so he can go to the show with Thelma alone. On the other hand, Nikki Narwhal is upset that her manager Vic, wants to use Thelma to sell tickets on her own show not having any clue that her music is getting bad. When it's time for Thelma to do her opening, she looks around for her band not wanting to do this without them, but Vic makes up a lie saying they abandoned her. This is an opportunity she wouldn't let pass her by, so she does the opening song and of course people loved her music. Nikki Narwhal grows jealous of Thelma, and is more angry when Vic used the fireworks that was supposed to be used for her song. Towards Thelma song ending, Vic tells Nikki Narwhal that he will no longer be her manager anymore, as he wants to work as someone flourishing which is Thelma. Out of anger and jealousy, Nikki Narwhal chases Thelma off her stage but when she tries to sing, the crowd boos her and ask for Thelma instead. Vic tells Thelma that he is going to turn her to the biggest star on the planet, but if she stays with a music producer like Peggy, she will never make it to Sparkle Palooza, the biggest stage in the world. Working with him will guarantee her being on that show someday. Thelma forgets about her crew and Peggy and decides to sign with Vic. Just as she is about to take off with Vic on her new helicopter, Otis calls her from the crowd and asks her why she performed without them. Thelma lashes him out thinking they abandoned her, even when Otis explained how a missile came out of nowhere and blew up their car, Thelma thinks he just made up the story. When Otis tells her that she is screwing everything up by pretending to be someone else, Thelma gets angry and separates from her crew. Meanwhile, Nikki Narwhal is so mad because Thelma is about to replace her as the biggest star in the music industry, and tells her assistant that the only way they can get back on top, is if they destroy Thelma. Calm down guys, she isn't talking about killing, but she wants her assistant find out about a dirty secret about Thelma so she can expose it to the world to ruin her forever. On the other hand, Thelma is starting to think she has made a huge mistake, because she shouldn't have left her band and Peggy like that. Thelma decides to reveal to Vic her secret. She reveals that she's not actually a real unicorn, but to Thelma's surprise, Vic doesn't care. He reveals to her that his teeth is fake and explain that the most important thing in the music industry is how you look. He tells her his backstory on when he was a boy, no girl wanted to date him because of how he looks. That's when he knew that if he wants to be somebody, he has to be somebody. By doing so, he changes his name from Dick to Vic, which turned him into a mover and a star maker. To increase Thelma fame and success, Vic wants her to collaborate with another star who calls himself Danny Stallion, video tube megastar, who got famous for his chewing cod videos. He tells them to fake a relationship just to be getting the public attention all the time. The scene then changes to Otis who imagines himself to be the most fearsome warrior called Duck Truvius. With Thelma by his side, they were able to defeat the goblins who were bent on destroying the world. Like I said it's just an imagination, as Otis misses Thelma so much. Otis is heartbroken when Reggie informs him that Thelma has gotten a new band mate. Vic takes Thelma and Danny Stallion to his huge sellout record, where every music they make here sells out immediately. But Thelma drops from happy to disappointed when Vic tells her that he won't be making use of any of her written song but instead, an artificial intelligence is going to do that for them. The artificial intelligence gives them a lyrics for their new song and they went to shoot it immediately. Song title is called, The Here Comes the Cud, which is a song sang by Danny Stallion featuring Thelma in it. Otis and the rest of Thelma former band watches the song on TV and the look on their face says it all. The song becomes so popular that it entered number one in the billboard. And people becomes a crazy fan of Thelma that they drew tattoos of unicorn on their body, and some even do other weird stuff to look like Thelma. The song made a huge money for Vic and they sold a whole lot of merchandise. But Thelma at the end isn't happy because none of this is about her being herself, and she doesn't even use her lyrics. She misses her friends so much at a point that she wanted to give Otis a call, but this is interrupted by Vic, who gives a good news that cheers her up again. She has been invited to perform at Sparkle Palooza in two weeks. Later that night, Hollywood hosts a show where the best musicians will be awarded, and Thelma is nominated for this award. During the award show, Vic notices the unicorn paint on Thelma face is fading away, so he tells her to run to the restroom to repaint the area. As Thelma does so, she gets confronted by Nikki Narwhal assistant, who reveals to know her secret of Thelma not being a real unicorn. She will do anything to get her boss Nikki Narwhal back on top, so she pours a bucket of water on Thelma which washes off her unicorn disguise. Menacingly, she uses her phone to video Thelma so she can show the world that Thelma is not actually a unicorn. Thelma begs her not to post the video and in return, she will disappear or never hear from her again. Nikki Narwhal assistant accepts the deal, but threatens on what will happen if she ever shows her face again. 
Thelma walks out very depressed, while Vic goes around looking for her. She wins the best music award for the year, but the audience is shocked to see that she's nowhere to be found. Nikki Narwhal assistant informs her of successfully eliminating Thelma in the music industry, which means she will be back on top soon. Vic announces to the crowd that Thelma has gone missing, and this causes a riot in the town as everyone begins to search for Thelma. Thelma walks really depressed on a desert and a bus driver who sees her, decides to give her a ride. The man tells her how he just got engaged with the woman of his dreams, but the issue is he has been keeping a secret from her. He is a world-famous champion on the underground clogging circuit, but he is afraid to tell his girlfriend the truth on who he really is. Like what if she hates clogging and totally rejects him? Thelma tells him that if she really loves him, she will love everything he does. No matter what happens, it's going to be better than him spending the rest of his life living a lie. After giving this advice, Thelma realizes it's not too late to fix her problems. According to her wishes, the bus driver takes her back to her farm. Otis sees her and hugs her in excitement. She apologizes for abandoning them and decided to still attend the Sparkle Palooza to show the world on who the real Thelma is. The Sparkle Palooza show begins, where millions of people and top celebrities are in attendance. Nikki Narwhal has placed guards outside the Sparkle Palooza show in case Thelma tries to return. The guards catches Thelma and her crew sneaking inside the show, but Peggy Purvis unleashes some kung fu moves on them, which gives Thelma and her friends the opportunity to run inside. Nikki Narwhal assistant sees Thelma running to the stage from the cameras and tries to post the video of Thelma online, but her battery run down. Nikki Narwhal blocks them as they got so close to the stage, but Thelma accidentally turns on a lift which made her and her crew access the stage faster. Thelma dresses herself back as a unicorn and appears in front of the crowd with her crew, which made everywhere as quiet as a graveyard. She then removes the unicorn disguise to show everyone her real self, but she ended up getting booed by the crowd. She apologizes as she thought it will be the only way for people to give her a chance, and decided to share a song she wrote since when she was little. People loved her for a real self the more, and they all begin to chant her name, and that was how the movie ended. Thank you for watching guys. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel and keep watching. Bye.